Paul, Jake, welcome to the show. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. It's been some amazing fights already, and uh, the night's only going to get better. Look, you've taken over the pro boxing world, all the attention on you. Where are you at right now with your boxing career, and what's next? Man, look, I'm, I'm revisiting the drawing board, going back to the basics, changing some things around with my team, and we're assessing who it is that I'm going to fight next. There's some really big names out there. We're talking to multiple different teams um, and trying to make another massive fight. So stay tuned, and hopefully you'll hear an announcement from me soon. Well, look, I'm curious to know who you're fighting next in boxing, but you made huge news in the MMA world when you signed with the PFL not so long ago. So all of us in the MMA world want to know, when will you make your debut in this sport, in mixed martial arts? Yeah, look, it's looking like um, end of 2023, you know, maybe beginning 2024. Um, but I'm really excited. You know, even just watching the fights tonight has got me hyped up. You know, I've been training jujitsu a little bit and getting back to my wrestling roots being, you know, I grew up wrestling in Ohio, Division One, have that background. So I really just um, have to focus on, on learning the kicks. So I need about a year or so, and then I'm going to be ready. But excited to be doing it with the PFL. Um, and hopefully we can lock down a big name because I want to challenge myself. People think I'm crazy, which I am, but I like doing things differently. And since the beginning of this whole like influencer boxing thing, I've always said that I've wanted to do MMA. So for me, uh, I'm excited to do it and to be doing it with the PFL. All right, let's talk about a fight we've got coming up here very shortly on this card. Biagio Ali Walsh is the grandson of Muhammad Ali. He's, he's just jumping in to the smart cage for his fourth fight, his fourth fight total. What kind of pressure do you think he's facing tonight? A lot, a lot, you know, and that's the name of the game. You have to be able to operate under pressure um, and, and having, you know, such a legendary grandpa um, is, is not easy and people have expectations uh, going into things. And when you're fighting on the biggest stages, in only you know his fourth fight, like you said, um, things can be nerve-wracking. I've seen him in the locker room talking to Ray Lewis. People are coming in, giving you advice, hyping you up, maybe even distracting you. And some of those things can can be tough to deal with. Um, but I'm excited, man. I, I think that he's a great fighter. He got a knockout in his in his last fight, and so the stage is really set. Um, a lot of viewers right now. The 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 streets are buzzing, uh, you know, after after some amazing fights in the prelims. Um, so we'll see, man. But definitely that pressure can, can crack fighters. So um, let's see what happens. Jake, thanks for being here. We'll check in with you a little bit later. And actually at home, if you want to listen along as Jake and our friend from PFL Europe, Wade Plem, uh, they're going to follow along the fights on uh, the, the Wade Method uh, podcast or excuse me his youtube the wade concept youtube channel that's it it's the wade concept youtube channel wade Plem, great rising star in this business looking forward to having him stop by a little later 